Hello everyone, my name is Hilda and welcome back to my channel. I have actually managed <laughs> to fill up, as you can see, it's very full, a uh, very thick boy, fill up another sketchbook. Um, so, this is a sketchbook tour. Let's delve into it. So here is my sketchbook. This is a Maruman Gliffy. They're my favorite type of sketchbooks. Um, this is a brand new one. I have not done anything in it. And I mean, look how thin and smooth these are. I mean, mine is still very clean, actually, on the, on the outside. I think it's discolored a little bit, but not much. Um, there's a few stains on it. Um, yeah. <laughs> But it's gotten, as you can see, very thick. I uh, I ended up using an elastic over it because, yikes. I uh, painted the cover on myself. Well, I painted this on the cover. And this is just, uh, I didn't use any gesso. This is just straight up Levi's wall paint, uh, house paint. I think this is the color Spiced Honey. I'm fairly sure it is. And then the rest is just uh, beige, red, blue, and yellow. Yellow? I cannot say yellow today. Yellow Bosque marker. Yeah, um, and I like Luna Lovegood, so uh, I went with Spectre Specs. No idea what I'm going to put on the next one, but um, yeah, you'll see uh, more Wizarding World stuff um, throughout this, uh, this sketchbook. And uh, I started it the 16th of December in 2020, and I ended it this year on the 13th of March. So it took me a while to get through it. Um, I got some nifflers. Then I have a Franken niffler. That was uh, last year's Halloween card that I sent to friends. Um, yeah, this was the original, and then I printed them out myself and did some fake foiling with just a gold Posca marker, a badly drawn um, portrait. Then I did this invite um, that I sent to several of my friends, and it's just a paper prop, and it's Newt basically inviting um, his friends to come to uh, the book party for his book. Um, and then I printed a Flourish and Blot sticker off I found online. And I I drew and painted this little bow truckle. I also got Newt Scamander logo of the internet. I played around with maybe like painting flowers on the envelope, but I didn't in the end. Um, I did print it on sticker paper and it came out way more gray because as you can see, it's brown with this um, Naples yellow and this is a koi marker and then the rest is just uh, Sakura Pima Micron. But um, yeah, it was fine. Um, and yeah, I sent that to some of my friends. So this is what it ended up looking. I put this uh, brown and white label sticker. They come on a roll from Ikea and you also get white and black ones, but I took off brown ones. And then I would write um, like to my friend or my fellow zoologist or something like that. Um, the, and the name and then like a reference to where they lived. Like my friend Cece, I put the stylish house and then the country they lived in. Um, I didn't put anybody's actual address on because then it's no fun if you want to share it on um, on the internet. And then I put the Flourish and Blot sticker on and Newt Scamander's logo. And then I have the bow truckle and a Newt Scamander wax seal. And then I just open it on top and you have the letter. And I think I corner clipped most of them. I don't know why my copy hasn't got its corners clipped. Can't remember if I actually corner clipped them or not, or just corner clipped this one because the pages are corner clipped. I have no idea, but this this lives in my display cage. A case. I always say display cage. I suppose it's a cage for collectibles, but, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, this is just like how I was doing it and bits and bobs. Then I have, um, another sketch and I, and I colored it in as well uh, with ink and Gansai and some Posca marker. And I was thinking about doing this as a Halloween card and it says, I love you like a jack-o'-lantern loves Halloween, happy Halloween. Um, but then I didn't because I thought it was maybe a bit too lovey-dovey and not really suitable for sending to friends. 
Then I was uh, mucking around with like dirigible plum drawings. And this again is house paint uh, with some ink over it. And I more wanted to see how well you could use other art supplies over house paint on paper than anything else, which is why it looks so crappy. Some more dirigible plum sketches. Um, I figured out very quickly, I'm not good at this kind of thing, so I gave up. Then, um, yeah, I put this in um, so nothing can cross over on the, the other pages. I've had a few too many incidents with um, Ecolina to, you know, have a, uh, not, you know, have no worries about these things. But these are all like drawings I did for the Quibbler Cat, and I will link to the issues down below in the description box because you can read it for free. It's a Wizarding World fanzine, and um, this was a, a fake product uh, article, and there was like a spray to render testrels vis visible for everyone, uh, a manicure kit for um, hippogriffs. I really like how the colors of the hippogriff came out and um, my test roll came out. And then there was a, a shampoo to wash your pygmy puff, but the pygmy puff would actually get different colors for a while. And then there were like no stick owl treats because uh, in the book, big big Ridgeon's beak often gets stuck uh, on, our, on owl treats. So uh, we came up with that. Well, I think Alex came up with that one to be fair. Um, this is a painting I did of a uh, Honduras white bat, which is one of my favorite bats. And I really like how it came out. Then this is a random drawing that I also did for the Quibbler cat. And I just stuck it in here. A sketch of a Honduras white bat. Then these were like the preliminary ideas I had for um, the Halloween edition of the Quibbler cat. Quibbler cat number three. And then these are like slightly better finished versions. These are the ones that actually ended up in the magazine. And here's a spread, a collage journaling spread I did of uh, our visit to Disneyland Paris. You can see there's some wall paint in there that I did just to give the background some texture before I started sticking stuff in. And these are just some... Um, Post-it notes, and then there's some pictures I printed on my Instax Leaplay. I took these with my phone, which is why the Leaplay prints are a bit dodgy. There's some hot air balloon washi stickers and, and another sticker. Um, and then, yeah, we went on June 15th, which was one of the annual passport um, reopening days. I've got, like, this is also part of our washi tape, single valid for a trip. Um, yeah, because the train was, was going, so, I mean, I like trains, so, well, steam trains, because, you know, steampunk and stuff. And then I have some uh, Japanese Monsters, Inc. stickers. Um, well, I, they're actually stamps, and I just stamped them on um, yellow post-it paper and turned them into stickers by sticking them in. And yeah, um, I will link in the description to my vlog and haul from that day. And then um, I didn't touch this notebook for a while. And um, um, I have uh, another Disneyland Paris spread page. That was when we went back two weeks later and the Hotel New York had just opened. So we went down. We didn't stay, but we went down to just have a look around. And we had some food at the um, uh, Bleecker Street Lounge, which is Doctor Strange themed. And I love it. The decor is just so beautiful and then we um we met some stormtroopers and chewbacca um but stormtrooper photo just came out better and then we had mickey waffles for lunch and this was you know entering via the parking lot and then there's just some washi tapes and a rocket raccoon image i found somewhere uh because i love rocket more like handmade monsters ink stickers this was um my return ticket for meeting Donald inside of the Nautilus. This was um, a sketch uh, for my my street board, my uh, sidewalk board, because um, I wanted to set something up for like the first day of school. I obviously just put my Hogwarts lounge fly outside for the picture for my sketchbook, um, because 
obviously it would have been stolen otherwise, I'm sure. But, but I did see a couple of kids stop and take selfies at the board. So that made me happy. And then I set another one up for trick and for trick uh, or treating at Halloween. And it did say that trick or treaters were welcome. And um, this was with chalk. Uh, pencil, uh, which I do not recommend. It worked, but it was a pain to get off. Whereas this is what actually, uh, actual chalk markers for boards like this. And those went off, uh, as a dream because I had to correct, uh, bits a few times. I've still actually got this Halloween side up and I don't think it's ever coming off. Um, yeah, I'll probably just. Yeah, no, I don't, because here I said which date, it, which actual day it was, but here I just said October 31st. Um, but yeah, we did not get any trick-or-treaters, which made me very, very sad. So hopefully better this year, and I will put the sign out, like, for the entirety of September and October. <laughs> then this was just a random Halloween doodle I did. And uh, here's a bat that I drew, because I like bats. And here's another bat, because I like bats. And then this is just like, you know, making random stains, so to speak. And I drew jack-o'-lanterns and then I added these little bits um, because otherwise the page was just empty and that was sad. And then on uh, September 11th, we went and met Sean Biggerstaff at uh, Le Cap Maison because there was a meet and greet day. And it was really fun. And this is my friend France with, um, with Sean and then Bert and I with Sean and then just some fun photos of the event and I made a postcard for it. And um, yeah, <laughs> that's probably not very helpful, although it might be. So yeah, this is the postcard. I just, this is a, a print I made because Stan has the original, uh, the, the owner of uh, Les Quatre Maisons. And then uh, he just like turned it into a post uh, postcard and I asked Sean to sign one because I designed it. Um, then this is a scrapbooking page for when Bert and I went Coach Orange in town. And for those who don't know, Coach Orange is uh, what you call Halloween hunting. And if you find stuff, and I did, I found these Halloween chocolate lollipops and I had a um, pumpkin spice latte, not at Starbucks, but at my local place. And I had just some ice cream and I, I, I remember I poured some pumpkin spice on the ice cream and it was very delicious. And this is Bert sitting on our rainbow bench. And then I have some fun autumnal and Halloween stickers. This is from a sheet I've had forever. And these were gifted to me by my best friend. And again, these I've had forever. Uh, and these are from Tiger. And this is also from Tiger. And this is just a notepad thingamajig I also got from Tiger. Then this is a painting of a lush bath bomb because I like painting bath bombs. And then this is Leaf. This is like uh, a bat character I came up with and that was the sketch. And then I did two paintings and I uh, did the background wet on wet. And this was just like also like a sketch to see how wrong this could go? The answer is very. Um, diamine fountain pen inks are also not the greatest to wet on wet. And then this is just straight out of the bottle. And uh, that worked out so much better. Um, yeah, I love how he came out. Um, I did considering making him my Halloween card for a while, but I didn't in the end. This spread is from a video I did and I will link it in the description. And that was when I opened a, uh, I'm trying to find the name. I can't remember. Did I write it down? Cause that would be quite clever, but um, yeah, I can't remember. So it will be up on the screen cause I will look it up. But it's super fun. It's this uh, stationary subscription box. Zenpop. That was it. Zenpop. Um, and yeah, this is what I did with the art. Uh, well, this is what I did inspired by the box. I didn't do it with the art. This, the spence, um, the spen came with the box, but everything else was just stuff I used that I had. And these stickers were in the box. Um, there was a big ghost as well, but I kept him. Might give them to my friend Will, actually. Um, then the washi came in the box. We had um, these beautiful, and they're textured as well, owl writing papers. This is the front of the memo block. Uh, it came off, so I stuck it on the back of the owl. There were also envelopes, but I'm keeping them to actually use them. 
this is a pencil that came in the box and um, I just drew the pencil. And then these are the note papers and they're full of yokai. They're um, like Japanese monsters from legend and folklore and I really love them. Then this is just uh, a kind of like a portrait experiment using fountain pen ink. I used Diamine Espresso and Diamine Triple Chocolate for this uh, in a medium. Well, it's more like a fine medium nib. Um, it was the old nib, the original nib. I actually still have it here because I filmed the video where I replaced it. The original nib that came on my brass Kawego fountain pen, which I have somewhere around not here, um, but yeah, it's just a full brass fountain pen. And then I had a, a broad nib Kaweco uh, fountain pen as well. And I just use hard stickers to stick stuff in and it, you can take it out because it has like these photo corners. So it's not permanently in there. Then this is the Halloween card I sent out to friends this year. And it is based of this ghost. And um, this is one of the Phantom Manor ghosts in Disneyland Paris um, that come with the Mickey's not so no sorry Mickey's Halloween celebration uh, little parade cavalcade whatever you want to call it and um, yeah I uh, decided that this year I was going to paint rainbow ghosts and I know pink isn't really a color of the rainbow but eh who's stopping me right so yeah this is just a random thing I painted slash drew because I love Halloween stuff. This is um, from my friend Valentine's and she's uh, Les Bulles au Plafond uh, on Instagram and everybody will be linked down below but she did uh, draw this in your style of like uh, an underwater creature, a swamp monster drinking tea so you know I had to do it because it was just so much fun. Then there's some swatches. And I have this red bubble fortune teller sticker and I thought it was so fun. I wanted to try my hand at my own Wizarding World fortune teller. And um, I made this, um, this bit here because I was so off center that I figured this would be fun. And um, it kind of is. And I was also testing my new printer and I made an entire spiel out of it saying, um, that time Ginny Weasley took over the fortune teller stable from Professor Tonali during the Halloween feast. Uh, boy, those were good times. So yeah, that's the thing. Um, it's just prints. This is on um, watercolor paper and this is just on printer paper. Yeah, um, nothing special really. And uh, then uh, I have some notes over it about printing it and then I drew my shoes, my new shoes, like from the official image because I wasn't used to drawing shoes. This is a Halloween countdown from Sunstar Art and I thought it was super cute so I printed it and I stuck it in my sketchbook and then I colored a ghost each day and then I just started doing this again in my current sketchbook because it's so fun. So like basically you do a doodle every day and then you end up with a page like this. And I did this for the entirety of October. And then I didn't do it again till this month. And it's now April as I filmed this. This is a random Medusa character I drew. A random, um, well, this is not that random because it's uh, my cat's jack-o'-lantern house and I just drew it in coloring pencils the day we got it for the cats. They really do like it. And this isn't just um, random candy wrappers from Tokyo Treat, although I really loved those Kit Kats, they were so good. Because uh, my friend Claire came to visit and um, we filmed uh, a trying out candy video. <laughs> I'm so, it's just like a really random page. But yeah, we um, we filmed trying out all the candy in a Halloween box of, um, I believe it's called Tokyo Treat. And again, video is linked in the description. Um, and this is a, a sketchbook portrait I did of Le Pustra on, uh, on Instagram. And I will link them down below. And I thought it was just such a fun photo. So I wanted to draw it and I did. So yeah, these are two different versions of the same portrait. And this is more realistic versus this one where I went with a minimal color scheme. And this is Imitation Angel. I found a photo on Instagram and I thought it would be fun to paint them. So uh, I did. 
And this is my green gentleman ghosts from my series. Yeah, I didn't really do them in the right color order, just as I found a picture and designated a color to them. This is the press true because it's like mixed media. There's some marker and stuff in there as well. Um, this is just a swatch card. Then um, on October 23rd, we went to another meet and greet day at Les Quatre Maisons and we met Devin Murray. And uh, I interviewed Devin and Sean for the Quibbler Cat, by the way. So if you're interested in read it, reading that or just watching the vlogs from those days, again, description. And I also painted a Seamus Finnegan uh, card. I should turn it. Looks like this in the back, and it says, uh, "I uh, I survived the meeting with Seamus Finnegan." And then, oops, because he blew something up, and um, it's signed by Devon. And um, yeah, there's there's a reason why there's like a vampire and stuff and a horse. So uh, but yeah, you'll need to read the interview for that. And then um, I have a whole bunch of Halloween washi tape swatches here. Because I love Halloween and I love washi tape. And this was the Halloween card I ended up sending this year. Um, yeah, there's a mistake. So I glued this over it and use it for my sketchbook. Because that way it's not lost. Um, yeah, um, this is something I painted ages ago. But, you know, I thought it would be a fun page to do. So I did it. And then this is uh, Never Without Lipstick on Instagram. I saw a picture of her amazing amazing demon roll mcdonald eating actual human fingers and i just had to paint it and i did and she was really happy with it so that made me even more happy because i already liked how it came out a lot then this is um this is also a, kind of a story i saw this sign this mdf sign on target that said trick or treat on one side and uh, we're out of candy on the other side and it didn't ship, so um, it wasn't that Target near my friend Alex, so that was off the table. But my friend Chris, who's um, uh, a year down below, I think one or two years down below me in painting class, he made me this oval plank and he gave it to me and um, yeah, I just painted a trick or treat on one side and we had it up at the door and this is um, the one, the side that says, sorry, we're out of candy, but it's in Dutch because, you know, where we live, kids speak Dutch, uh, well, most of them. And it says, sorry, I'll snoopies up. Um, so yeah, um, this would also have been really great for when they sing, uh, well, basically our variant of trick or treat, which is um, New Year's, um, that they, they do it at all the, um, New Year's Eve and then the kids come around and they sing a song and most were like uh, folkloristic hats and stuff like that. And um, yeah, it's kind of like our local version of Trick or Treat. Um, although we had Trick or Treaters one year, so I am hopeful, but um, uh, there we go. This is just a really, really quick doodle, just like to test out colors. And I just just them out with whatever marker I had and then I translated that to what I wanted to use in Gansai and whatnot um, for my Christmas card. And now, speaking of that, first up, let me zoom out a little bit. First up, there is um, this sketch. And it's also from a character in Disneyland Paris. And this was a, also, like the pink ghost, a picture from Beth's reject pile. Um, so first I did a sketch, but I liked how the sketch came out so much. I, I decided to just leave it as a sketch. And then I did a only, um, well, sepia, so to speak, ink, ink drawing, um, ink painting, which is also, again, only espresso and triple chocolate. And I think there's some Oscar marker in here as well. And then the background is uh, Diamine's Gold Star, which is just like tri Triple Chocolate from the Invent Red series. And Espresso is from the 150 year anniversary series. And that is sadly limited edition. The other two are not. But then this is what I did for uh, the Christmas card. And I actually have a paint with me video on that one. Again, description. Um, but yeah, I really like how that came out. And then here's the postcard. And there's a lot of fountain pen ink in here. Um, yeah, I, I like painting with fountain pen inks a lot. 
So yeah, that's um, that's what happened there. And then this is a, a painting I did of bleeding bullets. Let me zoom you back in. <laughs> so um, I, I like painting mushrooms. Um, I'm not completely mushroom obsessed like a lot of people, but uh, I, I like mushrooms fine to look at and to photograph and to paint. So bleeding bullets. And then for my red ghost, um, it's kind of, it's just a print, so it's fine. This is a print of the sketch. But yeah, I, uh, I, I found this photo of my friend Franz, who was a uh, cosplaying Constant, uh, Constance Hatchaway, I think she's called. Um, the antagonist from the Haunted Mansion, like the killer ghost. And uh, I decided that she was going to be my red ghost in my series. And, you know, Phantom Manor, Haunted Mansion. It's all Disney haunted houses, right? And uh, yeah, I know it's Disney, but... I, I kind of, at this point, because I wanted to do like Pride Ghosts and at this point Disney really needs to do better with also with, with all the shenanigans they've pulled around the Don't Say Gay Bill in Florida. So it's kind of like also become not just a work in allyship. Because um, I, I love painting monsters and ghosts and, and demons and, and all sorts of creatures. So of course I wanted to paint ghosts. Um, but it's become so much more at this point. Um, but yeah, this is my friend France, and uh, I really love how this came out. And like the others, it's mixed media, it's watercolor, it's watercolor crayons, it's some Posca, it's some straight up acrylic, it's different kinds of inks. Of course, there's songing in there because there had to be fake blood involved. I mean, come on, fine liners, uh, ink, because all they've, they've all been done with. Um, fountain pen inks, the backgrounds, and they're all glittery. But yeah, um, that's Frances Constance. And, uh, well, Constance, I guess. And this is my swatch card for all my reds. And then here I painted um, my rendition, because he's missing at least one horn. <laughs> My rendition of the super cute gargoyle, gargoyle of Gideon's Bakehouse after a photo um, they posted on their Instagram and they were well pleased with it. So that made me happy as well. Um, but yeah, I thought it was such a cute gargoyle and um, I painted him for Inkvent last year. Um, well, Vlogmas, because um, I painted the entire gargoyle with just one ink, Diamine's Ash from their Inkvent Red calendar. And the background is with Ganzai. And then this is just some um, Ganzai and uh, Posca marker. Then here is just another um, Creepmas, uh, Spookmas, painting, doodly thing, and uh, I stuck it in. This is the yellow ghost. Um, she's not my favorite because I found that it was quite hard to work with the yellows. This is kind of orangey on camera, but I assure you that Gold Star is very much yellow. And if you see it in real life, it's like a rich, rich deep yellow. But yeah, um, I like it more now than I did initially. And um, can't have a rainbow without yellow. Then this is just swatches. This is also a swatch page when I got my glittery fine liners. And um, yeah, I already had this one from a scroller box. And then I bought a pack of 12. And I loved it so much that Ben got me another pack of 12. And I stuck this in with this cute Weasley's, Weezes washi tape from uh, Kelly Lou. And it's super cute. I'm going to try to zoom in on it. It's just all gold foil Weasley sweaters on brown, which is totally my aesthetic. <gasps> I flippin' love the Weasleys. My favorite Wizarding World family. Then this was a spread um, to test my watercolor confections um, skin tone palette. I got like this small palette. I think it has 12 colors. And I just did this. Um, and, uh, you know, swatched them, tried them all out. They're fun. I added some fine liners for line work. Uh, but otherwise, it's just all that watercolor. This was a swatch page that I did. It, it was a Christmas season, obviously. 
a swatch page that I did um, for uh, my, what were they called? <laughs> Nail color two watercolor crayons. And this is just mostly straight up the crayons. Uh, I added some uh, gold, no, it's more, it's brass, I'm sorry. Uh, I have this, this tube, which has a kind of like a pen ending and you can splurt out this uh, thick brass glittery goop and I put it in the Zoe's mane because, you know, Zoe. And this is more like um, them actually used as watercolor. And I really did enjoy them and I use them a lot. I've been using them in a lot of the portraits as well. Like you can see it best here, in the detail in the sleeve. Um, yeah, I, I really recommend the Nail Color 2 watercolors and this is just... Um, uh, Pygmy Puff being naughty and eating a gingerbread man cookie that he stole. And this was the one I ended up, ended up on the most. Because I like how the orange one came out, but um, yeah, I kind of bungled it with the, the line art, so to speak, whereas this one just came out super nice. I, may, I might make this next year's Christmas card if I'm very lazy. And then the return of the cookie seeding pygmy puff and I just did one of those spreads you know because uh, it, it seemed like fun and then I forwent most of the line art because I was lazy. <laughs> this was a design I wanted to put on my um, sidewalk board but then I never did in the end. This is just some other things I did during vlogmas and these are the swatch cards. I have from, zoom out, my Inkvent uh, series that I have up on YouTube and I shall lick it like everything else. And yeah, this is just uh, stuff I stuck in there because why not keep it in my sketchbook forever and ever. Um, then here's the blue ghost. Uh, this was just a really quick sketch because this was the first one where I did not have fountain pen ink to do the background. And um, so I decided to use a... I can never remember whether it's a Wink of Stella or the Wink of Luna fountain um, brush pen. That went out of uh, frame very quickly. Um, but yeah, I uh, used the brush pen. And as you can see, the glitter it was very unreliable and it kind of like splat all over there. I don't mind that it's silver glitter instead of gold like on the other ones because with the blue I feel like the silver comes out better but I ended up going over it because you can see the color difference with just standard Kaweco fountain pen ink um, and I liked that a lot better and for us it's mixed media like all the other ghosts and there's a lot of fountain pen ink and um a lot of um, other stuff in this one. There's a, a lot of uh, nail color too in here as well. But yeah, it's mostly inks and watercolor though. But yeah, I really, really like how this came out, especially because I painted it from a black and white picture. So that has its own difficulties uh, as is. Then I was on a hunt for that Ouija Funko that everybody was so hype about. I feel like the entire Halloween community lost their marbles over this guy and I couldn't find him so I quickly, very quickly doodled him. But then I did find him thanks to my friend Stan who recommended pop culture and I ended up ordering him from Australia. But I found some Rocketeer and Monster Ink things that um, which I also collect. So there's that and I mean look how cute he is. I'm so happy with him. Um, he can sit right there. Um, but yeah, good show. Then this is just um, because before I started painting a blue ghost, I was uh, a bit worried about painting with the blues. So I first painted, because uh, it was funguary anyway, uh, I painted some inky caps and they didn't come out as well as the bleeding, um, the bleeding bonnets. And incidentally, I had at this point, this point in time, I had drawn the bleeding bonnets, but not painted them. And I painted them after the inky caps, which was probably to the advantage of the bleeding bonnets. But all that babbling aside, this is 
uh, a print of um, the orange ghost and the orange ghost sketch and the actual orange ghost is right here um the background is a bit dark for the rest of the ghost but um initially i had used one of those um brush pens and i just did not like how it looked it was very bland and bleak and okay the ghost popped a bit more than it does now but i just did not like it so what i ended up doing was mixing um diamine gold star with diamine fire embers and then you get this beautiful beautiful rich shimmer pur uh, purple orange shimmer orange and yeah so i did that and um even though the background is now a bit dark i love it much more i think it's still very very cool and uh this is again mostly watercolor and ink. Well, I, when I say watercolor, I mean watercoloring Gansai. This is just, um, this was like right at the end and I was kind of done with the sketchbook. And this is when I got an Instax Evo, well, Instax Evo. And um, yeah, I was just taking pictures of the cats with it. It has double exposure, which I love. And it just has this really good flash. Um, I mean, you can even get proper pictures of a black cat um, with very low light. Um, and then it was our 20 year anniversary. So I we took like the selfie because you also have split frame on the Evo and I stuck some stickers on there. I believe this was gifted to me by my friend Lauren. And this was gifted to me by my friend Jess. And this label is from um, Sostren Grene. And then this washi is from well this one is from Hema but the others are from Flying Tiger it was a set and then I found some key stickers and some watch and the watch sticker um, on a sticker sheet I have and these little tickety things are also from um, Flying Tiger they're on a roll literally on a roll of a big roll um, and then I just drew this like completely random because I just wanted to be done with the sketchbook and here's a doodle of like a vampire character. Um, and I love drawing glasses. I mean, I actually like wearing glasses. So all my random doodle characters have glasses. And um, yeah, that's the end. And this is just a page dimension, which is very handy to have in your sketchbook when you want to print for it. So yeah, that was uh, my sketchbook with some additional pages to uh, accompany stuff in my sketchbook i should not have put those on the ground but yeah <laughs> that was all of it um i hope you enjoyed this sketchbook flip through and uh yeah um leave a comment down below what was your favorite piece from the sketchbook or just leave a comment in general if you do leave a comment Please be kind, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, subscribe if you haven't already and you want to stick around for more, uh, hit that notification bell because I will probably never have a set upload schedule. And that was it. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.